Next thing we're going to talk about is basically how to find domain and range from a graph. So we talked about domain and range if you we were given a set of ordered pairs, but now we're going to talk about how to find domain and range from a graph. So one couple things we need to know, domain and range will be written as intervals. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, continuous, if a function is continuous, and what that means is I can draw my whole function without picking up my pencil. If it's continuous, all you have to do is list the maximum and minimum values for either your domain, if you're talking about your domain, your x's. If you're talking about your range, you're talking about your y values. So let's see if we can't look at our problem. Here our domain, okay, our domain is going to be our x's. So we're looking for the minimum x value and the maximum x value. And the reason I know that is because this is a continuous function. Now sometimes it's hard to realize, but domain, this is a quadratic, so it's not going to be exactly right, but graph will look something like this. Um, so domain are the values that we can plug in for x. Well, what can you plug in you can actually square? Well, you can plug in anything. If you want to square 5 million, you can. If you want to square negative 300, you can. If you want to square 1 half, you can. And this graph sometimes hard to uh, realize, but even though it doesn't look like it, it actually goes down and gets wider as it goes. Okay, sometimes you can be a little bit misleading when you graph those, but the domain for this problem, how far left it goes, the minimum x value will be negative infinity, and our maximum x value will be positive infinity. So therefore your domain is all real numbers. We can plug anything in that we want. Now our range is going to be a little bit different. Okay, it is a continuous function, so we want to know the minimum value first. Well, this time we're talking about our y's. For domain, the, the minimum value would be how far left we would be, and then this would be how far right we're going to go. Okay, well, with your range, what you're looking for is the lowest point and then the highest point. So how far low does this graph go? Well, this graph keeps going down, so therefore your range is going to be negative infinity. We always use parentheses around infinity and negative infinity. And then it's going to go all the way up to here. That's the highest point on our graph. Well, we're talking about our y values, so that's going to be a positive 4. Okay. Now, is this, in point, is this point included in our graph? Yes, it is. So therefore, we're going to put it in a bracket. So just talking a little bit about domain and range from a graph. Again, if it's a continuous interval, then you want to know the minimum and maximum values. For domain, it's going to be how far left and right. Domain uh, range, how far uh, low and high your graph will go. And make sure you write it as an interval. Let's see if we can't look at another example.